Hi there, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent license in all 50 states. So glad that you joined me today for some annuity examples. We're talking about lifetime income choices using annuities. Now, here's the great part about it. You're already a, a member of the annuity income family. You're already a member and a participant in lifetime income insurance, retirement income insurance. You're already there and you didn't even know it. And what do you own already that you didn't even know? The best inflation annuity on the planet. It's called Social Security. It's fantastic. So all you annuity haters, ratchet that back a little bit because you already own an annuity, Social Security. You go, well, that's not an annuity standard, Social Security. So let's break that down. It's going to pay you for the rest of your life as long as you're <sighs> breathing, correct? It's a transfer risk, meaning you're transferring the risk to our beloved government, who we all love and care for, to, for them to pay you for the rest of your life. And the payments are primarily based on your life expectancy when you start the payment. So with Social Security, you know, the payments are higher at age 70 than they are at 65. Nod your head. Hmm, sounds eerily similar to an annuity, right, for lifetime income? Yes, it does. I'm going to talk about the other types of annuities for lifetime income after this music. All right, so we've established that you're already an annuity owner. I'm glad that you're in the family. That is fantastic. But let's talk about the four types, annuity types, that provide lifetime income. But let's go backwards in time. A little history lesson for all of you out there that are wondering, where did annuities start, Marge? I mean, I would really like to know that. Well, I'm getting ready to tell you. Back in the Roman times, the dutiful Roman soldiers and their families were laying it on the line for the empire. And what did the empire do, as good empires do? They said, you know what, Roman soldiers and families, we're going to create an annua, a pension payment, A-N-N-U-A, root word for annuity, hello, A-N-N-U-A, a pension payment for your, you and your family for the rest of your life. That's where annuities came from and been sold in this country for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And really, I mean, can be traced back way back. I mean, um, Moshe Molesky is the smartest guy in the room in the annuity world, MosheMolesky.com. I mean, he's always going to England and researching annuities and tontines, which are transfer of risk, you know, pooling of risk. I mean, these have been around forever. This isn't anything new. And annuities are the only product and only category that provide a lifetime income stream. As long as you're <sighs> breathing, I do that so you remember it. And plus, I like doing it. I mean, but, but the point is, as long as you're breathing, it's going to pay. If you lived 130, it's going to pay. If there's a medical miracle, you lived 150, you're going to pay. It's a transfer of risk for the annuity company to pay for the rest of your life, and you can set it up joint life or single life. Now, in a simplistic world that I live in, Stan the annuity man who has a nose itch right here, that's called nose itch, Everything comes down to income now and income later. So you either need income to start right now or income to start later. Well, income now to me, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, life is all of its dates, is really about single premium immediate annuities. That's the original annuity type that's very eerily similar than the ones that were in the, in the Roman times. It's a transfer of risk based on your life expectancy. And remember with annuity, what I call annuity insurance, retirement insurance, lifetime income insurance. What do you want to call it? You got home insurance and fire insurance and car insurance and plane insurance and health insurance and dentist, in dentist insurance, dental insurance. How about lifetime income insurance? How about retirement income insurance? You already have that with Social Security. You might need more with these types of annuities. And remember, lifetime income, only annuities, the only product that can do that is part of your overall income floor. What is that? Yes, that was a heart. You didn't even see that was subtle, wasn't it? Yeah because we love you, right? I mean, Stanley Newman loves you, and I love lifetime income. I even have a shirt. I should have it on and just rip it down and go, I heart lifetime income. I'll do that later. But at the end of the day, everyone needs that income floor. What's that income floor? The monthly amount that's hitting your bank account every single month, regardless of who's in the office and what's happening in the world. If Israel's at war, it doesn't matter. It's hitting your account, and you're living your lifestyle the, and the lifestyle that you've earned and saved and scrimped and laid it on the line to get, that's what your income floor is. And annuities can fill in that gap. So lifetime income income now, single premium immediate annuities, that's the, that's the easiest, most easiest to understand, most easiest, that's not good English, easiest to understand um, 
choice for, for, for lifetime income. It's a transfer risk. Income starts as soon as 30 days and as late as one year. Once you're past one year, there's three other choices. Deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, and income riders that are attached to indexed annuities for us. You can also attach them to variable annuities. We don't sell variable annuities because we don't sell anything that has the potential to go down. No offense to all you out there selling variable annuities. And also, the income riders attached to indexed annuities, they historically have higher contractual guaranteed income amounts if you, if you quote them side by side. That doesn't make them better. It just is what it is. And I live in a world of contractual guarantees where you own an annuity for what it will do, not what it might do. So let's talk about the income later side. Income now is immediate annuities. Income later, deferred income annuities, which is an immediate annuity structure, but once you go past the 12 months to 13 months, it turns into a deferred income annuity. It's the same structure. No annual fees, no moving parts, no market attachments. It's a straight transfer risk based, based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payment. And by the way, all of these types of annuities, life expectancy at the time you take the payment drives the train. Interest rates play a secondary role. Interest rates play a secondary role. Interest rates play a secondary role. I say that because, well, I'm waiting on interest rates to move before I buy my annuity. Well, you know, Chester, good luck. You're not master of the universe, and there's no way to time it. So deferred income annuities are immediate annuities. And then qualified longevity annuity contracts that you can only use in your traditional IRA or specific qualified accounts. By the way, that's a DIA. So a DIA is a SPIA. A QLAC is a DIA. Confused? Hope not, because... I have books on that. I'm going to send them to you when you go to my site and sign up for them. All six owners manual. But the Qualified Longevity Annuity Contract is the newest lifetime income product on the planet, um, developed, designed, and introduced in 2014 by our friends at the IRS and our friends at the Department of the Treasury. They're encouraging you, nudging you, tapping you on the shoulder to use your qualified assets, your retirement assets, whether it's 401, some 401ks have them, but most people that are buying them in traditional IRAs, they want you to use that money for future income. And it can start as age, late as age 85. Okay, so you got immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, and QLACs, pretty much the same structure, a couple different rules. And then the last one's income riders. Income riders, I really like because they're flexible. They can be attached to an index annuity or variable annuity at the time of application, but we only look at the income rider guarantee when we run quotes. We don't look at the index annuity return, possibility, scenario, hopeful, projected, back-tested, unicorns chasing the butterflies, sound too good to be true because they are returns, because index annuities were put on the planet to compete with CDs in 1995, and that's what they do. But how we use them primarily... They're efficient and cost-effective delivery systems for the income rider guarantee. So just visually, draw a line down a blank sheet of paper. The index side is over here. Income rider side is over here. We're running the quotes only focused on the income rider. Like, that's what I'm looking at. I don't look over here. I'm not looking over there anymore. I'm looking right here. Because the income rider is the guarantee for lifetime income. All right? It's a flexible product, meaning that you can turn on the income in year seven and then shut it back off and then turn it back on at year 11, it's fantastic. You don't even have to turn it on at all. You could get to the end of the, the index annuity surrender charge time period and say, you know what? Plans have changed. We're not going to use the income rider. Send me all the money back, you know, with interest, whatever the index annuity gain. We can do that. I mean, that's, whatever the choice is, whether it's income now or income later, I'm going to shop all carriers, all for the highest contractual guarantee. I represent pretty much all carriers. And so I really don't have any skin in the game. And people say, what's your favorite carrier, Stan? What's your favorite? I don't have one. You know what my favorite is? My favorite is the one that provides the highest contractual guarantee for you, for your specific situation. Now, yes, when we get to the finish line of looking at the carriers and who finished first, second, third, fourth, or whatever, we're going to look at the claim span ability of the carrier. We're going to make a decision on what you feel comfortable with from the standpoint of the, the ratings and, and the solvency ratios and all that stuff and all the financials of the company. But I don't have any skin in the game with anybody other than they all won't stand the annuity man selling their product because I'm selling it the right way, which is all about will do, not might do. And the will do is a contractual guarantee. But so whether it's immediate annuities, deferred income annuities, qualified longevity annuity contracts, and lifetime income riders, they're all retirement income insurance. They're all lifetime income insurance. They all will pay regardless of how long you live, as long as you are what? <sighs> Breathing. It's a transfer of risk. There's no ROI until you die. It's part of the income floor. It's just 
like Social Security from the standpoint of it's a transfer of risk that's going to pay you for the rest of your life. I encourage you to go to my site at theannuityman.com because why? You can run quotes 24-7, 365 at your leisure with all of those product types. SPIAs, DIAs, QLAX, and income riders. And then you can schedule a call with me. We can discuss it. You can get the books first before we schedule a call. I'll send you the books on all of those types. There's six owner's, owner's manuals that I've written. I will send. I will gleefully, gleefully send them to you under no obligation, no cost, and no one's going to show up at your doorstep or call you. So when it comes to lifetime income, you already own the best inflation annuity on the planet, Social Security. But the question is, do you need to add to that additional income floor that you need Maybe you do, and if you do, you know the source, theannuityman.com. Hey, do me a favor. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share it with your friends and not friends. Hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next Stan the Annuity Man video.